Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 11.43 in Honolulu, 4.43 in New York on Monday, 7th day of March 2022, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Traders, today we are witnessing something that has not occurred for over a year, and that's gold breaching that key psychological level of 2000 Currently, we have April futures at $2,002. That is a gain of $35 plus or 1.81%. What is interesting is the flight to safe haven assets, and the dollar certainly is one. So we have gold going up, and simultaneously, we have dollar strength. The dollar gained about six tenths of a percent today. That's a total of 56 points with the U.S. dollar index currently fixed at 99.235. We have seen a dramatic rise in gold moving concurrently with dollar strength. I've just put up the Kitco Gold Index, and when this screen print was taken, we had spot gold at $1,991.40, a net gain of $18.50. However, on closer inspection, you can see that dollar strength took away $10.45 in value. Normal trading moved gold higher to the tune of $28.95, which is why spot gold, when we took this print, was up $18.50. We can see the same effect in gold futures. It would be much higher than 2000 if we had the dollar being neutral or weaker today. Silver had modest to fractional gains, currently up seven cents and fixed at $25.86. The reason it is not keeping up with the kind of rise we are seeing in gold, up 1.75%, is for two reasons. First, it doesn't act as much as a safe haven asset as gold. Gold is the standard along with the dollar for safe haven assets. Secondly, silver is an industrial metal. And so when you have the U.S. equity markets under pressure, obviously the demand for silver goes down. An extremely respectable and strong move in gold today, actually trading above and closing above $2,000 as of current pricing, we're at $2,001.80, $35.25 gain. This morning, prior to the open in New York, as we spoke about on Friday, we have moved our stops higher. Our entry level, of course, is $1,893.10, and our current stop is at $1,958.10. The rationale to put our stop where we did is, first of all, in a strong rally, it typically will not make a lower low and typically will make a higher high. So we don't go with the straight rule, which is to put it below the low three days ago. In the case of a strong rally, I'm simply looking to put it below the close on Friday, which was $1,966. So simply put, we're putting it about $8 below the close, and if the market continues to track higher, the former level of resistance, which was absolutely $2,000, we're currently trading a dollar above it, will become support. And on a technical basis, the next level that we could see technical resistance does not really occur till $2,022. To illustrate that, we have to convert the daily chart into a weekly chart to bring in more data. So the price point that I talked about is the next level of resistance at 2022 matches up with this particular top here. Above that level is $2,059, and that matches this particular top on a weekly chart. And of course, the brass ring right now is the all-time record high at 2,088. And you can see that it occurred in August of 2020. We're going to go ahead and convert the 
weekly back to a daily. It should still show us our different resistance areas. And my recommendation, of course, is to maintain your current long position at 1893.10. Make sure you have moved your stop up to $1,958. We want to see if this level of resistance becomes support and look to see if gold continues to move higher. If, in fact, it does, our next level that we want to see taken out comes in at 2022, then 2060, and above that, 2088. We will continue to trail our stop up as long as we see the price of gold continue to rise. The reason for that, as I talked about on Friday, is when you have a rally of this strength and based upon such strong fundamentals, spiraling inflation that continues to get hotter and an escalation of the crisis in Ukraine, then we could see gold continue to react to higher pricing. In other words, where this rally will end is going to be based on a shift in one of those fundamental events. Now, inflation is running hotter, so it would more than likely be a ceasefire, a truce, or some de-escalation of the current crisis in Ukraine. Until that fact, we will probably see gold form a base at 2000 and begin to run to higher pricing. At that point, we will send out a trade alert, as we did this morning, and once again raise stops. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.